Well, during this wave of storms this afternoon, lightning struck the National Weather Service building in Mobile. Local 15's Andrea Ramey is live from the National Weather Service with how long the radar will be out. Andrea? Well, it's not clear right now, Kim, just how long the radar will be down here. Crews are working to restore it. Lightning struck the radar right here near Mobile Regional Airport twice this afternoon. So in the meantime, they're having to rely on the radars in Slidell, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi, and out at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. But the National Weather Service says this does not have an impact on their ability to forecast during this uh, severe weather. They're still able to keep the public safe. Safe. And Chief Meteorologist Eric Beasley also told me earlier that uh, with the radar being struck out here, it has not impacted his ability to get the information that he needs uh, to do the forecast. Reporting live out here near Mobile Regional Airport, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Lightning struck the radar right here near Mobile Regional Airport twice this afternoon. So in the meantime, they're having to rely on the radars in Slidell, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi, and out at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. But the National Weather Service says this does not have an impact on their ability to forecast during this uh, severe weather. They're still able to keep the public safe. And Chief Meteorologist Eric Beasley also told me earlier that uh, with the radar being struck out here, it is not impacted his ability to get the information that he needs uh, to do the forecast. While many people were able to sleep in this holiday morning, some in Monroe County woke up, woke up early to the sound of rolling thunder. One resident woke up to glass shattering in her bedroom window from the winds of a suspected tornado that landed in her backyard. Shawanda Jones spoke with her as she and her family were cleaning up. 
Despite clear indications that a tornado was here on the ground on Pickle Road, the National Weather Service did not issue a tornado warning. And people who live here want to know why. There was no alert. We didn't know anything. There was nothing going on. Uh, there was nothing. Miss Betty was fast asleep until she heard a bedroom window break from intense wind. Luckily, the glass that came in didn't come through on my bedroom. It came in on a, a further bedroom. It ran into the tub, actually, me and my little dog, and uh, I didn't know when it would be over or what was going on. It was too late. Our chief meteorologist Isaac Williams spotted the tornadic debris signature around 4.40 a.m. We might have actually had a brief uh, tornado touchdown uh, east of Lackey. A tornado touchdown without warning from the National Weather Service. This is our debris detector and where I have circled here is a relative minimum in the correlation coefficient. Now we have to line that up with velocity and reflectivity as well, but all of these products match uh, and seem to suggest that there might have been a, a brief tornado this morning a little east of Lackey. Isaac asked the National Weather Service up in Memphis if they believe that was a tornado debris signature. Uh, they did say that they did not believe uh, that it was a tornado, but they are going to review uh, the radar data and maybe potentially uh, make a, a different determination or a future determination at a later date. Miss Betty family lives a quarter mile down the road. They all pitched in to start cleaning up fallen trees before the next round of severe weather strikes. You can see this debris pile is taller than I am, and I'm five foot five. Now, surprisingly, Miss Betty's yard was the only area on Pickle Road that was impacted as severely as it was. Telling your story right here in Monroe County, Shawanda Jones, WCBI News. All right, thank you, Shawanda, for that report, and neither Miss Betty nor her dog were injured. actually taking shelter inside the kangaroo. The power went out about five minutes ago. We're in Graysville. Uh, there's very strong wind, very strong rotation. The building itself is shaking. You can kind of hear that in the background. And we are trying to maintain uh, some sort of sense of uh, composure here at this point. There's probably, you can't see, maybe a dozen people in here with us. And uh, again, you can hear the wind. I'm going to hold the mic up for a second, just buffeting outside. You can barely keep the door shut earlier. It's uh, at this Whoa. point, the entire place could be sort of coming apart. Uh, so very, very dangerous situation right now. Uh, we're going to do our best to try to stay, stay safe here. The building is shaking. We're going to go ahead and uh, get low here, guys. You want to slide back into this interior room? Is this a better deal back here? What's in there? The building feels like it's basically coming apart at this point. Don't worry about that, no, this is cuts. Nothing's gonna hurt your head. All right, 
You can hear the uh, wind whistling. You all right? Everybody okay? You guys okay back there? Yeah. All right. Everything's fine. So far, so good. There's an emergency door. It has all been Let's see if anybody actually wants to talk at this point. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tall order. What about you? Can we talk to you for a second? No yeah. Thanks, appreciate yeah. it. Hey, yeah. so uh, first off, where did you come from? I come from Baltimore County, from Jasper. Yeah. Did you see this coming? Did you pull no, up just in time? Didn't, didn't see a thing. Just a lot of rain, lightning. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? And but, so, you know, hearing this going on out there. Uh, uh, it, it's not, it's, it's powerful, but not that powerful because it couldn't be them blow the building down by now. But, you know, we're in good hands. You know? It's an encouraging thought. Yeah, we're very thankful again for the, the yeah. staff here yeah, for letting man, everybody I, come I, in. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. Great yeah. people. You know, God bless you. And again, we got a family back here. We got some other people that have sort of joined us from the last time. This will be the third uh, tornado sort of scare here, but obviously the closest one yet. You guys doing okay back here? You okay, sweetheart? Yeah. Hanging in there? Yeah. Hanging in there. Okay, so we're hanging in there. And you can hear the uh, emergency weather app on various phones going off. We're going to send it back to you at this point. And uh, again, keep you posted from West Jefferson County. Back to you.